Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, I would like to start a completely new course, if you wish, or chapter of this website. It's called Mass Plus and Problems. Well, let me first uh, explain what I mean by Mass Plus. We have already covered basically all the um, material which is supposed to be in high school and maybe a little bit above um, as far as the math is concerned in the previous course called Math for Teens. Um, so what is Math Plus? It's not anything new theoretically, however the purpose of the whole uh, course which I'm starting today is presenting the problem. So it's the problems which is the purpose. And the plus means that the problems will be a little bit unusual, not typical problems which are supposed just to check your theoretical knowledge. These problems are supposed to challenge your mind. Some of them might be kind of difficult. Some of them are problems which are presented on certain mathematical Olympics, so to speak, Olympiads. Uh, well, there is an international mathematical Olympiads uh, organization which is organizing uh, these Olympiads every year. So, um, some of them are taken from old um, textbooks which I know about as really challenging ones. Um, so, that's basically the purpose of this this course. It's not typical, unusual, tricky maybe sometimes. Um, they are really challenging. They're supposed to be really challenging your mind. So that's the most important um, purpose of uh, presenting all these problems. This the whole course will be just the problem solving basically. So I will present the problem um, and basically allow you to stop the video and basically do it yourself try to at least to, to solve it yourself or you might take the textual part for um, each lecture which I have here um, and uh, basically the conditions of the problems are presented there so again it's all supposed to challenge you, which means you have to really spend some time solving the problems yourself before listening to whatever I'm saying about the solution. And um, also um, I put in reference of uh, the website, there is a, basically a menu option, references. I put the names of the books which I took it from. Um, I think I covered all of them. I hope so. Um, and finally, um, let me explain why I called this first introductory uh, to this course, I called it Who Needs Problems? Well, basically, nobody needs problems. People need solutions. And what's the most important part is that every time you really face a real-life problem which you need to solve somehow, it's usually not exactly the same as it was before or in many cases it's not the same as before and solutions which offered which were offered by some other people before you sometimes not really fitted and you have to come up with solution to a something at least completely or partially maybe new problem which you are facing so to have this solution to come up with the solution your mind must be well trained must get used to facing the problems which are not really explained to you in the theoretical material it's really something which you have to really come up with yourself that's your creativity that's your logic that's your analytical thinking and that's the purpose basically of this um, uh, prob these problems which I'm, pr which I'm going to present um, in this course. So, we need solutions and to get to solutions we have to train our mind 
to be able to face all these unusual circumstances. Well, that's it for an introductory and the uh, next thing is problems and, if, uh, and their solutions obviously. So thanks very much and good luck. <laughs>